Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Yeah, I just adjusted my chair uh, right here so that, so you could tell I look a little taller. But that's okay. I, I, I wanted to make it a lot better because I was having some problems with this chair. It, it keeps falling down all the time. So I'm trying my best to fix it. And I got it just right. So now you can see me all tall. So <laughs> Well, let's get to the point. But I'm reviewing my new movie this week called The Family. And it stars Robert De Niro, Michelle Pfeiffer, Deanna Agron, John DeLeo, and Tom Lee Jones. And it's written and directed by Luc Besson, who went on to do movies such as La Fine Nikita, The Fifth Element, Leon the Professional, and many movies. The movie begins when a mafia boss and his family, Fred Mazzoni, played by Robert De Niro, and his wife Maggie, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, along with their children, Belle and Warren, played by Diane Agron and John DeLeo, are relocated to a sleepy town in Normandy, France, under the FBI witness protection program after snitching on the mob. Despite the best efforts of CIA agent Stanfield, played by Tommy Lee Jones, to keep them in line, but the family themselves couldn't help but revert to their old habits and blow in their cover by handling their problems the old-fashioned way, such as blowing up the supermarket's basement because of the French insulting them beating up the plumber because he couldn't fix the drain pipes and once again insulting their waste. You know, the water was brown instead of crystal clear. And of course, the son getting beat up by bullies and trying to have his revenge on them. Meanwhile, their daughter is falling in love with a college professor. Things were going pretty well as it seems since Fred was already becoming a writer trying to write down his memoirs of what was going on in the past and while they were having a party with the neighbors and everything but things seemed to go even worse when the mob decided to go after them and track them down every way they can and blow them away now for a family like this who would imagine that the FBI would protect them they, no matter what they do they're always going to go looking for trouble Well. That's what this family is dealing with. And I gotta say, it was very funny because of the way this film was going. I really did enjoy the fact that you know Robert De Niro is playing you know a different role than than he was playing in, in previous films so far this year or any other year because um, his last couple pictures, with the exception of Silver Linings Playbook, wasn't very good at all. Because I heard some of these films that he was doing so far were, were mediocre. But I, I thought for a premise like this, it actually works. Because, it, I mean, this isn't, uh, of course, The Sopranos in that sort of way. This is definitely a different type of movie that you never thought you would expect from a family who has been doing a lot of crime over there in Brooklyn just to protect themselves from being harmed by these this ruthless thugs that are going after them. That's what Fiends actually went for. But Robert De Niro was actually very good in this movie too. In in that role and I thought that really worked too. Along with Michelle Pfeiffer. I also gotta admit that their daughter played by Diana Aikman was actually very good too. She was actually very beautiful in this film. More narrowly that you often see, you know, younger stars these days doing their stuff. But for an actress like her, it is very tough. And I've yet to see her in, in today's movies later on. And she did a very good job. The cast was excellent too. Even uh, Tommy Lee Jones. I, I thought he was very good as a CIA agent. And there are a lot of action going around. A lot of comedy moments in this film. I, I was laughing all the way. I didn't think it wasn't that bad at all. What's also interesting though was that Martin Scorsese was the executive producer for this film. So that means, you know, they might have some references to to all of uh, Robert De Niro's previous work and 
Yeah, in fact, they, there was a reference in the film too, which I'm not going to spoil that one. I, I was laughing all the way until the end of the film when you know something bad was going to happen. It's, it's worth watching. If you love all these uh, gangster movies, um, especially movies like this one that's, that plays itself out, I think you're going to enjoy this film right away. Because it's really funny. And it's, it's very exciting once you see it. But it did have some flaws in the film too that didn't seem to work. But otherwise, that's okay. It's better than all these other films I've seen before. But anyway, I give the family three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.